Hey, you people, how you doing out there? What do you think of that then? I thought it was really good. Danny, did you think it was really good? It's all right. Oh, it's an Danny. odd one for me. I do, I do like it. It's a different one for me because I wrote it for someone else. And normally when I write for me, I really am writing for me. I don't know, yeah, it, it was odd. It was just the way that, that came sense. about. Um, but I do love writing for other people. But when, you, when you're on a writing session, writing for somebody else, you listen to all the artist's material yeah. um, and you're thinking, OK, so they want something like that, but but different and new and exciting and catchy. And you're, you're yeah. aiming to, yeah. you know, it's a very different headspace when you're part of a writing team on a session for, yeah, writing for another artist. It's very different. I, I thought it sounded a bit, who was that? Is that Scottish? But Texas. Uh, oh, yeah, I like Charlene, it. Charmaine, whatever her name is. Spateri. Spateri? That's it. That I right? thought, yeah, I thought you'd give it, it was a little bit like that. Because oh. well, actually, I, I really like Texas. <laughs> they, ha they had a little bit of success back in the sort of 90s. So, uh, yeah, if you, you you know, you have a little bit of their success. That mm -hmm. I thought it was amazing. And it, it was a show called Aquarius. Yeah. Have you actually, have you ever seen the show? Um, Only, only once, not, I didn't get into watching no, it really I've but never even heard of it so <laughs> you kind of really... i don't know if it, it was big in america um so i think that's why i, I only watched it once because i was probably watching it illegally <laughs> oh, right, let's Try and see. <laughs> i wanted to hear my song so uh yeah too yeah. right it's your song why shouldn't you so yeah I th no i really enjoyed that i mean you may have may have absolutely hated it but i thought it was brilliant <laughs> so, so well done on that look we, last time you were on we talked a bit about your instruments you use a, a, a telecaster mainly mm -hmm. um you use a lot of acoustics as well yeah. um I, I when i've listened to you play what, what are you using there what, what guitars um a martin um of course and uh don't, you know what don't even ask me what kind of martin it is um it was a guitar that um stuart dixon used to play guitar for me he's a brilliant guitar player it was his guitar and i always absolutely loved it and one day he finally said okay he'd sell it to me <laughs> Like, wow yeah. well if he wants to um, sell me a martin as well i'll, I'll take one because that sounds so, amazing uh, yeah i mean it was just yeah it was a guitar but i always loved it so it sounds even better when he plays it actually but he's a he's a um, crazy man he's a crazy man fancy <laughs> give it away something that sounds that good but you know yeah. that's that's up to you you're, you know your his loss is your gain so yeah. it's so got that, nice uh, like fishman pickups in it as well i think that makes you know good pickups yeah. as well makes all the difference and it does make a big difference i know we talked about guitars well, what about uh things like um amplification what what do you tend to use when you plug in especially electric um, oh it varies these days uh, for years i had a big super reverb amp fender, yeah. and uh yeah fender i mean yeah fender's my my thing with guitars and amps really um and i was endorsed by fender for a while as well but but i'm not just saying this because i was endorsed by them i've always played fenders got the endorsement and now i'm no longer endorsed but still play fenders um and yeah, I don't know. I still play um, a little blues junior. I really like my little blues junior, um, which you know is a much smaller amp, but you can really crank it. Um, mm. And I saw Bonnie Raitt was playing a little blues junior amp as well at one of her theatre gigs, which I thought was really cool because uh, you know sometimes they're considered a bit more of a practice amp, aren't they? Because they're little, um, but they sound beautiful. So mm. uh, uh, I like my blues junior, um, and then I quite like a twin sometimes. Oh, lovely amps. So, uh, yeah really are fantastic so, and do you use any pedals on the floor at all not so much these days used to um i used to play with a tube screamer quite a lot sometimes i'll still break that out um but i don't know these days i'm preferring just more natural and just turning up for the solo you know yeah yeah i know so you, you you're a finger player rather than a mm -hmm. plectrum player pick player yeah. um have you always done it like that um not always mostly on my own material, yeah. When I was backing up some amp for fish um, on some of those tours, I'd use a pick just to get more of that rock sound that she was after. Um, but I'm more comfortable playing with my fingers. I find it easier to be more dynamic that way, and I feel like it's more my identity as an artist to play that way. Well, uh, well. There's, there's people like Jeff Beck that just use their fingers, so you know you're you're part of that mm -hmm. establishment. That that that's pretty good. You play it like. I was sort of watching you play, and you play. Sometimes you play it like you're playing bass in a yeah. way. I don't know if it's that sort of. I mean, have you played bass before? Or no, I'm not not that? a bass player. I've been told that before, and I've kind of noticed with some other um, blues players who I love, like Johnny Hooker and Albert Collins, that yeah. uh, that they'll sometimes do 
um, something similar, you know, I'm not comparing myself to them because they're, you know, the best. Um, but, you know, it's, it's more that kind of influence, I guess, that's kind of affected how I play. Um, I'm definitely not a bassist. The bass, yeah, bass guitar feels completely wrong to me when I pick it up. <laughs> oh, give it a try it's fantastic i love playing bass but uh, really? oh, yeah 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 I, well, I, start, <laughs> I started on the bass you see as a kid my That's dad cool. didn't want me to get into rock and roll because he thought oh it'll be drink drugs woman and everything yeah. like that which unfortunately it wasn't i hoped it was but it wasn't it was pretty boring <laughs> packing stuff. so he thought well yeah rather than be the lead guitarist he bought me a bass guitar thinking i'd mm. get bored of it and i actually loved it but the thing is when i got to the end of the gig after playing bass guitar none of the girls came and talked to me they talked to the lead guitarist and i thought <laughs> i can't have that so i thought i'll have to learn the six string so i did start on the bass i do love because i don't play much bass i'm always playing six string and then you get on a bass and you hit the low e and, and you can just feel it rattle your your, your ribs it's a great <laughs> sensation on there uh you know what as well the bass players they don't seem to get the girls as often but they're normally the better they're normally the better men i think or, or women you know but we're, if we're talking about the male bass players um than you know compared to the male guitar players maybe i'm being a bit harsh but uh, no, 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 i you're think right. they're, they're normally better more reliable solid decent guys i think the well, bass the, players the, um the, the guitarists can be a bit wild and you know yeah the two I bass think. players i'm 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 in the studio with at the moment they are both it uh techie guys one of them works for a college uh, and another one does a lot of production and stuff like that all they're all geeky and stuff like that which is great because <laughs> they can help me out so they're all good. look look we talk about other people's music um if, if, let's play something else now i'm thinking woman wise let's play something a bit different by by another female artist so mm -hmm. I, I don't know is there anything particular you'd like me to play by a different female artist um <laughs> Sorry, the baby ah, he's gone the baby's gone um yeah oh that's a good one um so let me think there's so much maybe um how about something off of susan tedeschi's earlier albums um for tone cool um maybe what about rock me right susan tedeschi rock me right let's go for that shall we fantastic we'll see you after this